Good evening and welcome back to Prime of My Life. It's Sunday evening, I am almost healthy. I even got taken out for lunch today. So we're very excited to be back to some sort of resemblance of normality. Um, today we are talking two different things. Um, the first one is the weather's coming. Winter is coming, as they say. Um, a lot of weather warnings out for here in the UK. So if you haven't already got your stuff sorted for the, the cold weather, then get it done now. Make sure you've got your bubble wrap on your windows. Make sure you've got your supplies in. Make sure you've got plenty of logs for the wood burner or that you've got hopefully credit on a meter if you need credit in a meter. Make sure you've got your blankies, your hot water bottles, gloves, scarves, hats, etc, etc. Because it's going to be cold for the whole week. Like proper cold for the whole week. So make sure you've got all your stuff. And if you don't have supplies in just now, get them as soon as you can. Like tomorrow. Get your stuff sorted. So yes, that would be the baggy finger thing. With get your stuff done. Because we know there's a week of proper cold weather coming. <laughs> yeah, no, I sound like a broken record. But, you know, these things have to be done. Um, the other thing, and it's, I don't mean it to sound as bad as it does, but there's a report in the media just now that Kate Garraway, bless her cotton socks, who recently lost her husband who has been ill for so long after catching COVID. Um, there is a report in the media saying that she may have to sell her house, their home. Because of the charge, because of the costs of care. And it was a big headline. You know, Kate Garraway may have to sell £4 million home because of costs of care for husband. And much as I feel sorry for her because she's just lost her husband, father to her kids, etc. Do you know how many other people that happen to in the UK every day? And it's not headline news. The people who have to sell their homes for care home costs. The people who have to sell their homes because they can't afford to live there because they need to get carers to come in and help them. And one of the things that came through my head with this was, you know, there's a housing shortage. And in some ways, for many people like me, who thought they were going to move into the family home after their parents had gone. And they can't because they've had to sell it for care home fees. How many other people are in that situation? How many thousands of people have had to sell the family home and didn't realise that that's what they were going to have to do? And have had to end up with family not being able to use that home so therefore all their plans went awry and they've had to go on private rent or whatever and all these things that weren't expected so I'm hoping that maybe because of Kate Garraway's information coming out there then maybe somebody will take up the story of how many other people have had to lose their homes because they have to pay to look after a family member because there's no other help there. And I don't mean that I expect the National Health Service to, you know, look after every single person who needs a little bit of help. But there are times where especially when you get to my age, if you're trying to look after your parents and you physically can't. And then they get that they can't look after themselves and then everything has to go. And I haven't seen that in the news since I had to sell my parents' house. I haven't seen that. So the fact of the reporting on Kate Garraway having to sell her family home. It's not a huge news story. It's been happening for years. 
The fact that it's been happening for years and happening to thousands, that would be a news story. So fingers crossed someone actually picks it up. Now I am going to do my usual. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I will be in bed early this evening because I'm up for work, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tomorrow. So I will catch you later. <laughs>